Welcome to Crazy Singing. I'm covering every singer in the world and their craziest vocal lines. Yes, I will even cover yours if you're a singer, so stay tuned for that video too. In this new episode, however, we have Chester Bennington, so get ready for some really incredible vocal skills. On spot number 3, we have this beautiful ending scream during a live performance of One Step Closer in 2011. Song that's already quite difficult to sing, like all of Chester's work, but made even harder with this beautiful note addition in this live show. The sheer power in Chester's vocals while reaching the fifth octave is just outstanding. It is truly remarkable how easily he switched from a vocal fry screaming tone to a sort of cleaner belt all in a matter of seconds, a testimony to his amazing vocal control. But Spot number two, we have undeniable proof of Chester's vocal versatility. In fact, I recommend you look up how many songs Chester has covered, a lot of them being from completely different genres than the ones he usually sang. Yet he never disappointed, his covers are all incredible. I've heard all of his covers, and my absolute favorite is ACDC's Highway to Hell. How incredible does that sound? All of ACDC's songs go insanely high, and he's just singing it like it's nothing, with an amazing tone and distortion. By the way, 97% of my views come from unsubscribed people, so if you're in the lucky 3%, you might already know that at the end of every video I add an extra vocal line, so stay around for spot number 0 of Chester's craziest vocals ever. On spot number 1 we have a song that's regarded by Linkin Park fans as the hardest one ever to sing, and that is QWERTY. You might have been expecting Given Up to be on this list, and it is true that the scream in that song is Chester's most impressive vocal ability, but on this channel I'm always looking for vocal lines that are more underrated and deserve more recognition. So let's go with QWERTY's epicness. This is a live performance too. Have you ever noticed all these clips are live performances? This is because Chester is one of the most consistent singers I have ever analyzed, and his live performances are just as good as the studio ones, sometimes even better. How he transitions so quickly from screaming back into clean singing is mind-blowing. Could we have anything crazier than this? On spot number zero, I found Chester's highest note ever, reaching the sixth octave, a territory even female singers would struggle to singing, makes Chester's voice sound not human, almost like he becomes an amazing synthesizer. And hey, since we listened to his highest craziest note, how about the lowest one he ever hit? <laughs> he was just being funny on this video, but he made it very clear that he actually experimented with throat singing, not just for high notes, but for extreme low notes as well. If we consider these two last notes, his final vocal range is 4 octaves and 10 semitones.